Welcome back. In this section, we will see about dimensioning. With respect to GDNT. Right? In the previous section, we have seen about the tolerance and what is the GDNT and where is it applicable and what is the use of GDNT in mechanical engineering manufacturing industries right so dimensioning dimensioning is nothing but a value it is a value which represents the size shape and orientation of an object right it is a value which represents the size shape and orientation of an object so without this dimension we can't manufacture or produce any component it can be electrical mechanical or medical related components nobody is able to produce a component without the di proper dimension right so in this there are different types of dimension basic dimension reference dimension design dimension and process dimensions basic reference design and process these are the some of the classifications in dimension so basic dimension so it is a value wherein without this value or without this dimension we can't produce a part right so only with the help of dimension we can able to produce the part so that is called as a basic dimension and reference and this is indicated as in the box or without a box some some value a b c some number it's a dimension or a b A, B, C, then A, B, C plus or minus value. So these are the different ways of defining a basic dimension. Without this dimension, we can't produce a part. So it is mandatory dimension in other words we call it as a mandatory dimension right if you take an example we know the length of the component as 40 something around 10 10 5 15 let's take an example of this component we have every dimension can we manufacture this part I say no because we need this dimension without this dimension we can't so assume that it is something around 25 
So this is called as a basic dimension. In fact, all these are basic dimensions only. But we have taken an example stating that without this dimension to indicate that without this dimension we can't manufacture the part. So this is an example of basic dimension. Right? Next, reference dimension. Reference dimension is for reference only, for verification. Whenever we have a doubt in it, we can go with reference dimension just for indication. It's not a, a mandatory dimension and it is indicated as with brackets. This is called as a reference dimension. Dimension available within the parenthesis we call as a reference dimension and it is for reference only. In the same example, I have given as 40 as reference dimension. Can we manufacture the part? I say yes. Because I know this dimension 25, all are basic. I know this 10, this 10 and 15. If I add all this one, I get as 40. So no need of giving this as a basic dimension. Because I have all these dimensions, I can calculate this 40. So this is given as a reference only. So this is about the reference dimension. Next, design. Some people indicate this in the box as D. There are different terminologies that people use. But now we'll see what is the what is the design dimension? So dimension which is used only for designing. Later on they are going to remove it. It's of no use. That dimension we call as a design dimension only for the sake of designing we are going to give this particular dimension right so that is about the design same similarly process different people use different terminology in this process and design dimension indication so this is for only processing or only manufacturing during manufacturing only that dimension is required Afterwards, it is of no use. Dimension used only for the sake of manufacturing or processing, we call as a process dimension. Right? So, this is about the dimensioning. So in the next class, we will see some simple explanation about GDNT symbols and datum planes and some modifiers, right? Hope you understand about the dimensioning and different types of dimensions and how we are going to give dimensions. If you like my section, Please subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.